Hi everyone and welcome back. So I have another Lush haul, but this one is a bit different. I actually went to an event at my local Lush haul on Easter Saturday. I think it's going to be a bit past Easter when I actually upload this. But they were having an event where you either got to make a cupcake face mask, but that was at set times in the day, so I didn't actually get to make one. But they also had a stand where you could make a buttable bath bomb at any time, so I actually got to make two. I've actually done this before. Um, and I included another whole video. So I made one and I forced my fiance to make one purely because you pay a pound and you get a little charity for some, which these in themselves are a pound because the event was for charity. But then you also get to make and keep a butter ball and that is included in the price that you paid for the charity pot. So you basically get a bath bomb and a charity pot sample for a pound. The thing I was most excited about was actually keeping the bath bomb mold because as you can see, it's actually in the Lush mold because when you make it in the store, it's basically a powder and you pack it into the bath bomb mold and then you leave it 24 hours. But then you get to keep the mold afterwards. So I'm going to try making some bath bombs out of this and also some sugar scrubs. So yeah, I already have two of these molds and now I have two more. So I have two butter bombs which is probably one of my favourite Lush bar bombs anyway, so I was happy to have two more of those. So another good thing about this event was there was a lucky dip and you paid £3.50 and you got one of the charity pots and I did that three times as you can see. And then you basically got to go on the lucky dip where it was a random Lush product. So I decided to pick up three different charity pots. So the first one is Trident Plowshares, which is this one, uh, Nana's Against Fracking, and then I beat the cats. I will link the Lush ones up down below and see if there's anything about these charities as well. But as I was buying three, I wanted to get three different charities. And I also know that they changed the formula of the charity pot a couple of years ago because I was not a fan of the original charity pot scent as well, which was a shame because I wanted to buy it more to obviously support the charities. And I must say, I much prefer the new scent, which is a good thing because I have lots of charity pot now. And if you are a fan of the old scent, I know that they've re-released or they've released the old formula in another body lotion and it's basically called formerly known as, as in like, um, and I told my fiance that because he did not want to go to the Lush store. I basically had to drag him into it. And I was like, oh no, you'll like this fridge reference. <laughs> so yeah, I have three of those. And then because of that, I got to pick in the Lucky Deer. And there was actually only three products. So I think they kind of deliberately put in the products they wanted to get rid of because the first two products I have to show are actually from their Christmas line. And like I said, it was April when I went in, which I was quite happy about because I actually missed out on a lot of the Lush, in fact, I completely missed out on the Lush Christmas range last year, which I think this is the first like Lush Christmas range I ever missed out about, purely because, um, we were moving and I just didn't really get a chance to go to it. So the first thing that I got was this. And you can see it's been sitting in the stock room for a while, so it's quite mucky. This is the Chris Tingle body conditioner, bright blue body conditioner. And I'm quite glad I have this because I've had a lot of people say really good things about this. I believe this is in the Celebrate scent, but I've never actually tried Celebrate, so I can't tell you if that's what it smells like. It just smells very minty and fresh. It smells really nice. I've never used any of the Lush body conditioner ever actually I got some fun and this is snow fairy fun and I think that this product is quite sore after because I know that there are people who love snow fairy and I hate to say it but I absolutely hate snow fairy it's one of my least favorite lush scents along with karma oh even the smell of it that hate it so I'm probably gonna give that to my sister because she loves it. But I am gonna do a product demo on this, so I'll basically give her what's left over. It's a smaller size than a normal fun. This is just 100 grams. And so I've only ever used fun ones before and I didn't really like it. It felt very, it just felt very drying and I found it was a good few years ago when I bought it. So I can't really remember why I didn't like it. But I just don't think it was as good as a bubble bar. I will do a demo on this and then I will give one of this left over to my sister. And then the last thing I got was this. This. And this is a real throwback product for me. This is the Volcano Foot Mask. I bought this around, if you've been into Lush for a while, the last time I had this was when they used to do, where I can't think what they were actually called, but it was basically like sets where you would pay, I think it was 15 pounds, and you could pick set 
products to go along with that set. And I specifically remember it was called like Night In For Toes, this set. It was a good six or seven years ago, this set. And it was called Night In For Toes or Tea For Toes or some, something to do with feet. And it had like a foot bath bomb, a foot mask, a foot scrub and a foot cream, I think. And obviously the foot mask was this, which was Volcano Foot Mask. And if you want to know what the worst smelly Lush product smells like, smell this. It smells wretched. Yeah. <laughs> Just smelling it now, although in a way, even though it smells horrible, it's kind of nostalgic because like I said, it was such a long time ago that I bought this. It was kind of when I was first getting into Lush. It smells horrible, but a bit nostalgic at the same time. And it is, I'm trying to think what ingredient it is that smells. It kind of smells like clay, but almost like herbally as well. Yeah, there's just, I, terrible with scents but yeah it's not a nice smelling product at all and I was thinking why is this in there because it's a mainline product this expires in two weeks so I think that's why it's I did like it like I said it was just the smell that kind of put me off so I'm very happy to have that and like I said I basically paid £3.50 and I got three products for free so next time I go and I have an event I'm going to do a lot more of the Lush Diff I think and I wish I hadn't made a face mask but my fiance, I think it was quarter to three when we went. He's like, I'm not staying to half past three, so which was absolutely fair enough. But and she actually ended up paying for all of this, so I can't complain. Um, I think I spent around £12.50. In fact, I spent exactly £12.50 and I got all of these products, so it was a really good deal. I also heard that they were handing out goodie bags in town as well, which I wish I'd have got one, but I'm happy with everything I got. My store has only recently been starting to do a lot of events, so the next time they have one, I'm definitely gonna go because I did really, even though I was literally like in and out of the store, I did really like, kind of like the experience. So I hope you enjoyed the haul and I'll see you next time.